Alrighty. Are we ready, folks? Men, they like to chat. <laughs> there we go. All right, for those that can hear me, I think we'll have, um, we'll, when we get to the junction of Butcher Country, we'll stop for like a morning tea, just have a little snack and drink and stop. That's in a few kilometers time. Copy that. Um, we'll stop at Ford 7, I uh, believe, or wherever the junction is for Butcher Country. We'll stop and have a quick like morning tea, snack, water, toilet break. Um, so that's in about three kilometers time. We're off. Well, that was an interesting crossing. So it looked shallow so I like yeah let's go I've done it and bent my side step like there were some big rocks in there um, and then Craig's come along in his Colorado and he's not got as much clearance as everybody else and um, got stuck so we've had to pull him back um, and redo he moved a couple of big rocks um, and then got through fine um, but that was quite a rocky big rocks in there and I can imagine every time there's a big rain that that uh, moves those rocks around quite a lot there's a few big ones on the exit I did a like a zigzag rather than straight Steve who's got more clearance bigger tires he just went straight down the middle that was fine um, I'm just having a look at this as a campground. Just give me two seconds to pop down here. What's up, Lucy? I'm just bobbing down here to look at the campground. Yeah, I might have a problem. Oh, really? Okay. Well, when I come back out, we'll have a look.
a little bit nervous, not going to lie. Feel any big rocks? Oh, no, I see that which looked pretty smooth. Yeah, okay, that one was a little bit scary, but we got there. Right now, I've got to get the others across. Let's hope Craig doesn't get stuck. All right. So here's the crossing. I have a wet crotch because of this crossing. <sighs> it was easier to drive than what it looks. Oh my gosh. I'm so soaking wet right now. Okay. Alrighty, on the move. I can imagine when there hasn't been easier because you don't have to stop and look but because there's a fair amount of water in the rivers we're having to stop and look at nearly every ford and the one I didn't stop and look at was the one that Craig bottomed out on um, and that one did look like it was flowing fairly hard the actual track look is fine um, this looks fairly compacted it's not that steep obviously a water gully down the side the whole track has been beautiful really but the river crossings definitely are requiring a bit of thought about them which is fun that's what we want really so I definitely recommend this track it's lovely Oof. 
this little creek crossing looks like nothing but somewhere in there on the left hand side is a rock in that deep little hole that I just doofed into doing amazingly well. <laughs> Can't believe it. Got two more fords to go until we're on Butcher Country track. And there's no way Caledonia River is as deep as this. Like it's a much smaller river I think. I have driven it before, it's on the channel. I'm going to film that again though because um, it was graded just after I drove it last. be a little bit different. We shall see. The aim is to get all the Butcher Country track done and down into Caledonia River by like four o'clock. We'll see how we go. This bit is definitely taken longer because oh, we've had to stop and look at everything. on this Craig so I've hugged the right hand side there do you need me to guide you It was a bird or 
the hell? What? Okay, I'm not overly sure where the Ford is here. Not there, hopefully. Okay, there is a big deep hole on that side. The rest of this, oh, seatbelt off, oh, I don't know knows. Nobody's got a radio. Have you got your radio? All right. reason enough to come here. What a cracking spot. What a cracking spot. The river here is absolutely stunning. Alright, I'll just see these guys across okay. Shut the windows. So this this is the river crossing that we've just done. Here goes John going over and over here. Look at this awesome bit of geology. Awesome swimming hole. It's like a bridge. It's beautiful. There goes John with no snorkel, crazy. beautiful that rock formation I'm coming back here this has got to be some of the nicest camp spots that I've seen in the Vikai country I mean look you have to you definitely have to watch the weather you want to be you don't want to be stuck in here when the uh, track from the campsite just keeps going around too. Yeah, I didn't investigate too deep. I just saw that it was beautiful and was like, that's all I need to know. 
turn this radio off. Right, we've got one more. On the move. Ford. Ford number seven. Look, it does go eight, nine, ten, but that is up. Um, I'm going to assume that this track ends at the junction of Bookshire Country and the other track that I want to say grimy, grimy, grimy track. Let's see if I can. No, blue something. Blue Plains. Jesus, that's small. Blue Plains Spur comes in so I'm gonna say that's what that junction is. I cannot see what I'm driving into here. <laughs> that's fine. <sighs> okay. Yeah so I'm gonna film up to that intersection and call that McAllister River Track. Um beautiful. And the good thing is, really, is that for you to camp here, like we've been driving for, oh, we set off at half past eight from Barclay River, and it's now 11, something, 11.36. Obviously, we've had to stop at all the river crossings and check them out and get four cars across. So if you're on your own, it would be a bit quicker, but from Barthy River Campground, it's going to take you a good two hours to get down here. So that's going to put a lot of people off. Look, I mean, you could camp here, you're not right near the river. The grass is a bit long. Just sticking my head down this track to look at this little campground. Yeah, very cute. Nice little spot. Uh, high up above the river there. Very nice. I'm not going to fit around there. I've got my central diff lock, so everything <sighs> takes 20 million goes. straight across this one the hardest bit for maybe Craig is going to be these rocks on the entry and there's a real tight exit but it's beautifully clear is that a big rock in the middle it's a bit hard to tell isn't it
you going, Craig? Yeah, we're across, but we might have drank something. Looks like you brought a log out with you. Is it still on Craig's car? No, I don't think so. Cool. I'm just going to carry on. There's a campground just up here where we can stop and have a have a little morning tea. Finish the track. If you've got this far, well done, because I have a feeling that this is going to have to be a two-parter. But awesome awesome if you've got the capabilities this is a top track to do fantastic camping oh i should say stav we stopped just by that awesome rock formation bridge thing stav got his fishing rod out chucked it in and lo and behold a few flicks of the law he had a fish on. It didn't stick. It was a feisty one. Feisty one. Um, but he got a fish. So you know these these waters here. All right, let's have a look down here. All right, I'm turning left down into this little campground just to have a look, um, and we can all come down here. And we'll stop down here. So we got a little bit of space there. Oh my god, they're just superb. Look, I mean there's not much not much grass, but holy moly. What I'll do is I'll just this is kind of your spot. Let's reverse a bit so you can see. There. That is the Macarthur River track. This is the campground just after Ford 7 at the junction of Butcher Country. And it is awesome. I'm going to get out, take a bit of a, a thing over of the river just to show you. But can I get over? Are coming down too, Lucy? Yeah, yeah, come down, come down. Can I get over how awesome this track is? Anyway, I recommend it. See ya! Not gonna lie, this way, the access is steep, but look what you get.